Have you ever wondered how the royal family reacts to surprises? Well, today we're delving into a recent event that shook the royal corridors. Picture this. Prince Harry, sixth in line to the British throne, making a quick dash across the Atlantic, leaving behind his settled life in California. His destination, the bedside of his ailing father, King Charles III. A son's concern, a gesture of familial duty, you might say. But the royal corridors, known for their penchant for protocol, reacted with a mix of admiration and admonishment. It wasn't the visit itself that ruffled feathers, but how it was carried out. As Robert Jobson, the seasoned court scribe, narrates, Harry's visit was an emotional fait accompli, leaving the king and his court in a state of quiet disquiet. And so, the surprise visit, meant as a show of support, ended up stirring the royal hornet's nest. The royal family is no stranger to complex relationships, and the bond between Charles and Harry is no exception. Once a beacon of warmth, their relationship now seems trapped in a labyrinth of estrangement and misunderstanding. It's ironic, really, how the very act meant to bridge this gap has only served to underscore it further. Harry's impromptu visit, driven by a son's concern for his ailing father, should have been a moment of familial solidarity. Instead, it's been met with an air of unease, a testament to the widening chasm between him and the royal institution he was born into. This episode throws into sharp relief the delicate balance between personal emotions and institutional expectations that the royals must navigate. It's a sobering reminder that in the grand tapestry of royal life, personal bonds can sometimes get overshadowed by duty and protocol, leaving us to wonder, at what cost? In the grand scheme of royal affairs, personal relationships can often take a backseat to duty and protocol. Sometimes actions speak louder than words. And in the royal family, these actions can carry significant implications. As the royal saga unfolds, one particular detail stands out. The decision not to extend the hospitality of Clarence House or any other royal abode to Prince Harry. This forced the prince to seek refuge in a hotel, a decision that speaks volumes about the current state of relations within the royal family. In the grand scheme of royal life, where every decision is scrutinized, the choice of lodging is no small matter. It's a subtle yet powerful signal of the undercurrents of tension that still ripple through the royal family. The fact that Harry, a son visiting his ailing father, wasn't accommodated within the royal residences emphasizes the complexity of the situation. This episode, while seemingly trivial to outsiders, paints a poignant picture of the bridges yet to be mended within this illustrious family. Even in the face of family crisis, the royal family's actions continue to be a reflection of the ongoing tensions. Amidst the critique and cold receptions, a fundamental truth remains. In the heart of this royal drama, Prince Harry's decision to fly across the Atlantic to be near his ailing father speaks volumes of a son's instinctive need to be with his father in a time of vulnerability. This, in itself, is a poignant reminder that the bond between father and son can endure, even when strained by royal protocol and public perception. Despite the icy reception and the inconvenience to the royal schedule, Harry's impromptu visit can be viewed as a moment of raw humanity, a beacon of sincerity amidst the pomp and circumstance. The seriousness of a father's illness transcends royal protocol, and Harry's actions underscore this reality. The need to be near a loved one in their time of need is a human impulse, one not dulled by the glare of royal life. In the grand tapestry of royal life, moments of human sincerity like these stand out. It's a stark reminder that beneath the crowns and titles, the royals too 
are a family navigating the complexities of love and duty. So what does this all mean for the current state of the royal family? Well, it's clear that the bond between Prince Harry and the royal institution is strained, to put it mildly. But amidst the tension and the protocol, there's a significant takeaway from Harry's impromptu visit. It's a stark reminder of the human side of the royal family. In the face of his father's illness, Harry chose familial duty over royal decorum, a decision that, whilst causing a stir, also highlighted the depth of his love for his father. As we gaze into this royal kaleidoscope, we see a family navigating the rough seas of public expectation and private emotions. The hope for reconciliation may seem faint, but it's there, flickering like a candle in the night. And perhaps that's the most important lesson here. Family bonds, however tested, have a resilience that often outlasts the storm. At the end of the day, beneath the crowns and titles, the royal family is, at its core, just that, a family. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video. King Charles and Prince Harry's private conversation.